Hi, I'm Nick, and I'm an amateur animator and intern at Cambridge Community Television. I do animation the long way, but I also think it is a fun way, and a cheap way. I start off by thinking, what do I want to animate? Let's make a can of beans talk to a beer bottle. You can use any digital painting tool to start drawing. I used to use Paint S, an application that I could use to draw on my MacBook, but then I switched to Procreate, an app that I can use to draw on my friend's iPad. Both of these apps cost less than $11 with Massachusetts tax, but you can snoop around the internet to find that app that is right for you. Let's get started drawing our first frame. First I'm going to draw some background and uh, eventually I'll draw our characters. This will be Bean Can. Drawing the mouth open for right now, but our first frame, the mouth is going to be closed. So I'm going to do a little bit to um, cover up those mouths and we are ready to go. As you can see, I have a lot of different frames drawn and labeled. I want to make sure I have a frame for every scenario. For example, Bean Mouth Open, Bean mouth closed, and beer mouth closed, and beer mouth open. To have the bottle waddle over, I want to move the bottle gradually closer to the bean can while swaying side to side. So I will duplicate my original frame and adjust the bottle in each. Once I have all of my frames, I am going to export them as PNG files. JPEGs work fine too. I like to send them to my Google Drive or email so that I can download them to my computer. I bet there's a better way to do this, but I have some time. So once this stuff is on my computer, I am going to upload it to my video editing software. Today I am using Adobe Premiere Pro. I got a good deal on it for Black Friday, but I didn't really use it. Tried to cancel my subscription and was told it would cost around $32 to cancel. So let's get our money's worth. Also, iMovie, Final Cut, and Windows Movie Maker should work fine as well. I am going to insert the frames in the order that I want the action to happen in. When I place the frame onto the timeline, it automatically makes it over 4 seconds, which is way too long. So I'm going to squish it down to be as short as possible. Then I'm going to order the frames to be the way the characters would speak. I'm going to make the bean can say hi to the beer bottle. So if I say, hi beer bottle, my mouth opens and closes four times. So I will set it up to go open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. And I will do the same for our bean can to the beer bottle. Once I have my frame set up, I can record my audio and add it in. You can record it in something fancy like Audacity or GarageBand, but I'm not too fancy. And I'm just going to record it directly into our workspace by hitting the little microphone button. The rest is just tweaking and making sure all of the mouths line up with all of the words. My tip is to look at the shape of the audio. If it's a big hill, the mouth is open. If it dips back down, the mouth is closed. Now that I'm done, I'm going to export it as an MP4. Let's see what we made. Hi, beer bottle. Hi, Bean Can. Wasn't that fun? Now you can try it at home. Bye-bye.